Welcome ladies and gentlemen to our fifth and final day on board the Disney Dream for our five night Marvel Day at Sea cruise. Today we're at Disney's beautiful private island of Castaway Key where we're going to get off the ship and explore everything that's new. We're going to head on over to the adult only Serenity Bay Beach for some relaxing fun before returning to the ship to check out all the final night madness. We have all that in today's video and so much more up next. <laughs> Good morning from Disney's beautiful private island, Castaway Key. Good morning ladies and gentlemen from day 5 of our Disney Cruise Line vacation on board the Disney Dream with Marvel Day at Sea. It is unfortunately our final day on board the beautiful Disney Dream but we are here at Disney's beautiful private island of Castaway Key. Today is going to be a very chill day at Castaway Key. We're going to get off the ship, we're going to go to a beach, we're going to relax over there, enter the water, play around for a little bit, then we're going to go and have lunch over at Serenity Bay before returning back to the ship for another evening full of awesome activities. Before we do any of that though, Cody and I are going to head back upstairs and try and retake our pictures that we attempted to do yesterday on our day at sea, but it was just way too windy and we didn't properly think that one through. So now that we're here docked, there shouldn't be too much wind, let's go ahead on up there and get those pictures done. Alright, we are trying this once again. And now, because we're already out here, we're gonna have breakfast at Cabana's. I can't recall if we've ever gotten off the ship at the front before. It's very choppy waters today, but regardless, welcome, ladies and gentlemen, back to Castaway Key. And check this out guys, since the last time we were here, they installed the Castaway Club wall. In recognition of families who have sailed with us more than 50 cruises, the cast and crew of Disney Cruise Line are pleased to showcase this display as our gift to celebrate the amazing and countless memories you've shared with us over the years. Thank you for being part of the Castaway Club and here's to many more magical memories. So this wall over here is completely dedicated to families who have sailed more than 50 times and there is still plenty room more in one day. Vasquez family right there somewhere along the lines over here right babe yeah eventually Vasquez family yeah 50 cruises what symbol are you gonna get I have no idea I think just probably the classic Disney Cruise Line symbol maybe but take a look at these families and it even says sailing since 1999 98 2000 2003 I think I'm sailing since 2001 2002 1998 yeah a lot of these folks are OGs okay so these nautical flags I wonder what the nautical flags say because I know that the nautical flags can spell something. Views and cues, if you're watching this video, hop on it. I know you guys love to decode nautical flags. There is also a new hut or structure back there. It's pretty obscured by plants and vegetation, so I don't exactly know what it's used for, but that is definitely new. All right, you guys know what time it is. Time to see what's new as she sells seashells. Starting off, with this Disney Cruise Line tie-dye shirt over here for kids. On the opposite side, looks like we have more adult sizes. 
It's really cute. Oh, I really like this shirt. It's orange, Castaway Key with Mount Rustmore. I kinda like it. We have a brand new Stitch shirt that says Good Times and Tan Lines with Disney Cruise Line. And we have a shirt that says Best K Ever. I kinda like this one too. We have a goofy shirt down here that says Disney Cruise Line. What's on the back? Ooh. See me chillin'. <laughs> That's so cool. We have another Islander Mickey shirt over here with a floral print. This is a really fun design. Disney Cruise Line with what looks like plumerias in the background. I know there aren't plumerias, I just don't know what kind of flowers they are, but it's really cool. We have one down here, Seize the Day with Donald surfing. We have another more simpler design on a gray shirt over here, Castaway Key Bahamas. We have some brand new Castaway Key hats. We also have some brand new Castaway Key sweaters. Some Castaway Key bathing suits. We have a children's Castaway Vacay shirt. I really like that design. Okay, this one's really cute too. I'm actually a mermaid. <laughs> Check out some of these other shirts that we have. Ocean Air, Not a Care with Goofy. We have a kid's shirt that says Cruise Vibes with Mickey. We have a shirt here that says Donald's Exploration Boat Tours on Castaway Key. What's on the back? Yeah, take a look at that. We have an official logo for it. <laughs> Ooh, take a look at this button up over here. I really like this. Holy cow, that's snazzy. And right above it, we have a matching ladies dress. Take a look at what Coda found. She found a brand new Castaway Key Spirit jersey. It says Castaway Key, and then down here it's got... This isn't a map of the island, is it? Is it? Does it have Serenity? It has Serenity all the way at the end, too. Oh yeah, it does. Or okay. at least the area you can walk on, it's got a map of. Yeah. We got Serenity Bay down here. Yeah, the little rock wall. Retain, retaining wall, boat beach snorkeling lagoon. That's really cool. Even says the Bahamas over here. Aw. That's really cute. Unfortunately, they don't have it in our size. They're looking right now to see if they do have it. So we'll see, fingers crossed. We have some new bathing suits over here. Doesn't look like it says anything about Castaway Key on them. It's just, you know, Disney Islander stuff, but still cute. And this shirt I really like too. It says Cruise Vibes. I like this one. It is an absolutely gorgeous day here at Castaway Key. Oh my God, not a cloud in the sky. There's a nice breeze. It's not too hot. Glorious, absolutely glorious. Something I always forget to mention when we come here is that there are some artisan bohemian shops over here where some bohemian locals do set up shop over here and sell their wares. It's actually really interesting. So in case you are on like a Caribbean cruise or some other kind of cruise that isn't specifically labeled as Bahamas, you still have the opportunity to pick up some Bahamas merchandise. Time to head on over to Serenity Bay. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Serenity Bay. As soon as we get here, we can see a couple of brand new hammocks that they added over here. That's really nice. Alrighty, it took us a little bit, but we made it to Serenity Bay. We did have to walk down a little ways because the chairs are lined up this way rather than that way. So just be aware, if you are planning on coming to Serenity Bay, probably best to come sooner rather than later like we did or else you're gonna have to come down quite a ways. I mean, you can see the chairs still keep going. Another thing I want to mention is that the sand here is extremely loose. As a big guy like me, like any step that I take, I sink and walking in extended, in extended ways. It can be rather challenging, and you can see it's at a slope. So just be aware, if you have mobility issues, you probably want to get here sooner rather than later. But I will say, it is very, very nice out here. And here, ladies and gentlemen, is your moment of zen from Serenity Bay. Look at how gorgeous this is. The water is crystal clear. It's not too deep. It's actually pretty shallow. It is gorgeous. Take a look at that. 
looks like we have a barracuda in the water right there very interesting see that's the thing with serenity bay that you guys need to be aware of on the family beaches they're a little bit more protected they have you know nets around and they have the um the rock wall up along the edge to kind of keep some bigger things out but over here at serenity bay it's fair game for any sea life and any sea creature to come in over here so just be aware of that it's not uncommon to see sharks stingrays barracudas other kinds of fish species well look who's back from her 5k how was it good good did you finish in record time no <laughs> it was casual where's your medal over there oh you got it already yeah. okay sweet how's the water temperature by the way great great it's really cold you're gonna go all the way in Okay, that's good. You're gonna go all the way in? I got an inner tube for you. No thanks. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna go put the camera down and relax, but I just wanna get your opinion. It's really beautiful out here, huh? Yeah. It is gorgeous. Like for as much as I don't really care too much for like the beach part of Serenity Bay and the sand and the incline, the water is really nice consistently. I don't like cold water. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like it. <laughs> We spent a good amount of time in the water, lounging around. Now it is time for lunch. I am just a little bit hungry. Ah, Serenity Bay Barbecue, the promised land. There is only one thing in particular that I've been looking forward to having since my last cruise where I discovered it. So what we have here is a garlic aioli burger with cheese and onions. Now it was actually Coda's idea to put garlic aioli on a burger the last time we were here in September and I got hooked. You guys definitely need to try this. I also asked for one rib and he ended up giving me three. I guess one equals three here. And I got some potato salad as well. Would you guys believe me if I said that this was only my second ice cream of this entire trip? Because it is. He's got fish jumping around him. And that black line to his right is a barracuda. He doesn't know that. I'm assuming. Yeah, that little. Can my finger come up first? Yeah, that little black line. That's a barracuda. I told him. I told him. <laughs> All right, folks. Well, our time here at Serenity Bay has unfortunately come to a close. We got to get back to the ship. Coda wants to do a little shopping, and we also want to do the aqueduct. So we're going to go ahead and get going, hop on the tram, and make our way back to the ship. But yeah, I was telling Coda, we need to make more time for Serenity Bay. It's been a hot minute since we've been back here because every time we come here, Coda really likes to go snorkeling. So we always end up hanging out on the family beach. So um, we'll, we'll definitely make a solid effort next time to make it back here to Serenity Bay. I like it. So here's something really cool that we just found out. If you buy anything over here at the gift shops on Castaway Key, as long as you purchase a reusable bag, they can send your merchandise back to the ship to be picked up at Sea Treasures on board. So that's really cool. If you get here like first thing in the morning and you do a bunch of shopping, you don't have to carry around all your merchandise with you. That's awesome. I don't know how long that this has been a thing, but it's really cool to know and definitely great for you guys to know as well. Hello everyone. Welcome to our beautiful island, Castaway Key. We are all headed back to Cargo Harley and your Disney cruise ship. At this stop, you will find Marge's Budget, the location for parasailing, fly fishing, glass bottom boat, rigid hull snorkeling, troll fishing, bottom fishing, sandbar adventure, backcountry fishing, and adult snorkeling. Please stay seated until the trial has come to a full and complete stop. We're about to get back on board the Disney Dream and check out how choppy the waters are. Oh my goodness. It is choppy out there. Then again, it is also very windy, but holy cow. <sighs> Just got back to the room. <laughs> <laughs> Our luggage tags are in here. <laughs> you never want to see those. That means our cruise is over. 
So sad. We have made it back to the room. We just dropped our stuff off. Now we're going to head on upstairs and ride the aqueduct. We're not going to bring any cameras or phones with us. We just want to go and enjoy it. So I will see you guys in a little bit. Coda and I are dressed, matching, and ready to go to our final dinner of the cruise at Enchanted Garden. <laughs> Final dinner at Enchanted Garden. Let's take a look at the menu. Here are the specialty cocktails up top. For our appetizers, we have a cucumber garden roll, an ahi tuna and avocado tower, North Atlantic lobster ravioli, and an applewood smoked bacon and wild mushroom tart. For our soups and salads, we have an heirloom tomato soup, a cream of green asparagus, spinach and raspberry salad, and a romaine wedge. For our bread service, we have a multigrain and country uh, currant rolls with chickpea garlic puree. For our main courses, we have a caramelized sea scallops, pan seared sea bass, a maharam scented roast chicken, seared pork tenderloin medallions, and a slow roasted prime rib. And here are your vegetarian and lighter note offerings. First up, we have the ahi tuna and avocado tower with crispy noodles and wasabi dressing. Next up, we have a spinach and raspberry salad, baby spinach tossed with fresh raspberries, toasted pine nuts, crumbled gorgonzola, and a raspberry vinaigrette. And for my entree, I opted for something a little different. We have the pan-seared sea bass with fava bean and pea risotto, sliced fennel, and a dill chive rizel wine sauce. So I'm opting to not get a dessert tonight, but here is a look at the menu. A warm sticky date pudding, chocolate garden torts, an orange almond cake, a chocolate brownie sundae. For a signature, we have a southern style pecan tart. And for no sugar added, we have a lemon raspberry mousse bombay. Final night here in the atrium after dinner, and it is busy. Holy cow. This is the line up here to take one final picture with Captain Mickey. We have stair pictures going on. We have other backdrop photos going on as well. I think there's a character over there, maybe. Yep, Belle is over there. We saw Mulan up here somewhere. Mulan's up here somewhere. There's a lot happening, and the final night is always very chaotic here in the atrium, so just make sure you're prepared. Hooey! The stores are also very chaotic as well on the final night. No surprises here. I always advise you do your shopping ahead of time. Do not wait until the final night. You know, I just got done saying to avoid going shopping on the final night, and this is what you're doing? You're trying to get me to buy you a towel animal? <laughs> It's so cool that Disney actually sells these. They're super popular. Guests look forward to them. They have an elephant. They have a monkey that you can hang. It's very cute. <laughs> so long, little buddy. Hope you find a great home. All right, baby. Speaking of towel animals, what's it going to be? Turtle. Turtle? Okay, wait, 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 wait. I have a guess. Now, let it be known, I also came back to the you room. No, I, I did not. It was not done. It was not there. I swear. I swear on Emily, the towel animal was not there. I think it's going to be one of those little little guys that like to hold the pamphlets because he's probably going to be holding the comment card. Um, he's probably going to be one a of the... bear. A bear? Yeah. I think it's going to be one of those long nose things that's, you know, holding the pamphlet. You know how sometimes... No? no? Okay. Visually, I, I can picture it in my head. Let's see. It's a penguin. It's a penguin. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, where's our comment card? I don't know. We're supposed to you have pulled a... out the bunk again. Oh no. <laughs> where's our comment card? Yeah, We're supposed to have a comment card! How am I supposed to leave my feedback? And unfortunately, guys, with it being the last night, we all know what time it is. The time that we dread the most when we board the ship. It is time to repack our bags. It feels like yesterday that we got on board the ship and unpacked everything. It's so quick and easy to unpack everything, but repacking everything? Ugh. You never look forward to it, but it's got to get done. Let's get to it. <laughs> Take a look. 
Ladies and gentlemen, another fantastic Disney Cruise Line vacation is in the books. This was such a fun cruise. Not only were we sailing with Coda's family, but we had a fantastic Marvel Day at Sea during the sailing. I've been wanting to do a Marvel Day at Sea cruise for the longest time, and for the last few cruises that I've been on, a lot of you guys have asked me if I've ever done a Marvel Day at Sea because you've always wanted to get my perspective on it. So I'm so happy to have finally been able to experience one so that way you guys can know know what to expect. Now, would I necessarily take another Marvel Day at Sea cruise again in the future? Yes, 100%, absolutely. However, for Coda and I, we both agree that this is a one and done type of cruise. If they make any major changes to the entertainment that's offered on board, or they bring in some brand new characters or make major changes to the Heroes Unite show, then Coda and I will happily take another Marvel Day at Sea cruise again. If you or anyone you know is a big Marvel nerd, then I highly recommend you guys take this cruise. Cruise. So, what's next for us in the future as far as cruising is concerned? Well, I'm very happy to report that in just four months, we are going to be setting sail once again on the Disney Fantasy, sailing over to Disney's new island destination of Lighthouse Point. We are setting sail on the seven night inaugural sailing to Lookout K, and we cannot be more excited. It's going to be a very big cruise for us. We have a lot of things to cover, a lot of things to see and do. It's going to be very exciting. So, if you guys are excited for those videos and you want to know when they get uploaded make sure you subscribe to the channel and ring that notification bell to get notified whenever those videos go live in the near future after our lighthouse point cruise in june we are setting sail once again with disney cruise line in january of 2025 for I believe it's the third ever sailing of the Disney Treasure. That is Disney's brand new ship that is setting sail during Christmas of this year. However, we are giving it a couple of weeks before we actually set sail ourselves. And of course, in between all of these fantastic cruises, we have our regular theme park content that I hope you guys stick around to enjoy as well. If you guys enjoy the shenanigans between Coda and I on a cruise ship, then you'll definitely enjoy the shenanigans that we get up to in a theme park. But anyways, guys, I wanna thank you all so much for watching today's video and if you guys watched the entirety of this series I appreciate you even more if you guys made it to the end of this video leave the word castaway down in the comment section below I want to know who the real MVPs are until next time ladies and gentlemen I hope you're all having a wonderful day morning afternoon and evening and I will see you guys in the next video